On my worst day, I felt defeated. I feel as if my body is just slowly deteriorating and there's nothing I could do about it because I'm, who else have a runny nose that just comes out of nowhere? I'd get up in the middle of the night and you know, the, the pillow would be wet from my nose leaking. I didn't know what was going on. I got scared last Thanksgiving when I was preparing a meal and um, it came out of nowhere and it just added itself into the ingredients. So I'm like, oh God, I can't feed this to nobody. So it just ruined my Thanksgiving dinner. I went to at least five doctors and everybody misdiagnosed it. They diagnosed me with pneumonia, bronchitis, annual allergies, and I tried everything, nothing worked. And from then I said, you know what? Let me do a little bit more research. Feeling much better, which will happen. So Greg right. came to us complaining of clear rhinorrhea or a runny nose from one side of his nostril with a salty taste as well as some associated headaches. When we saw the scans, there was no question that there was a leak or hole between the brain and the nose, which was leaking fluid persistently, especially when he was bending over, doing work. This condition is called a cerebral spinal fluid leak. It's a very rare condition, but it usually presents to other people with drainage from the nose, as well as post-nasal drip, much like allergic rhinitis or common allergies. I was living with this problem for five years. I didn't realize how dangerous this stuff was because this could lead to you getting meningitis. And that's deadly. When I found out that I had to have brain surgery, it was scary. It really was because I've never had surgery before. I never had no kind of surgery. When you think brain surgery, you think they're going to just take the top of your head off and go in there and do the repairs. But no, they did it minimally invasive. They went up and they did the repair. I didn't even know anybody was out there. So in this procedure, we did not use any incisions on the face or in the abdomen or anywhere in the body. We used cameras essentially on a long stick that we put through the nose with specialized instruments to expose the hole in his skull. And then we repaired it using his own tissue. By using his own tissue, it heals much better faster and we're not putting foreign bodies into the nose or brain that could lead to infection later on. And now I'm like a new man. You know, I feel like a million dollars. I could breathe again. You wouldn't even know you had surgery. You go in, next thing you know, you out. He was able to leave the hospital the next day and that's how efficient the surgery is and less invasive it is than previous techniques that were used. It's amazing to be part of a hospital system in which we are able to use cutting edge tools such as navigation, fusion of different imaging modalities and virtual reality to provide the patient with the safest, most efficient and effective surgery. Feels good. <laughs> it really does. I'm the home cook, so it's gonna give me some pleasure when I get back home to finish that Thanksgiving dinner, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I might even do a special one this Thanksgiving. <laughs>